Right, topic of this video, whether it's going to be two minutes long or five minutes long, whatever, it's going to be um, doing things versus wanting things. Um, again, like all topics, opinions, whatever, you can be talking endlessly uh, about them, can't you? Hence, um, you know, they could say like the state of the country or whatever, MPs, politicians, or whatever. They're always trying to talk about things, whether that's to, you know, well, it should be to try and improve them, shouldn't it? Shouldn't it? But most of the time, it's not. Everything just goes to shit, doesn't it? But I was just thinking a minute ago about um, wanting things, like doing things versus wanting things. Doing things doesn't really need to cost money, does it? Versus wanting things all the time. Um, to fill what? To fill a gap? To fill um, some unhappiness or some un unease in your life? A lot of people tend to uh, do that, don't they? They buy things because they want them, or at least they think they want them in the moment. But then, it's a bit like coffee, I guess. Hmm. Or drugs or something, you get that high, you know, you get that high from buying something or something comes through the door. Because we shop online a lot these days, don't we? I know I do quite a lot of shopping online anyway. When I need something, and you get that kind of euphoric hit, you know? <clears throat> and then suddenly you get the down, like, that's what it is. Um, I go for a walk now, I go for a cycle ride, which doesn't cost nothing, apart from obviously the. Uh, the food you might be eating, whatever, and time, but it's time well spent. Versus like wanting, wanting stuff. As I've gotten older, I've realised that, you know, money is hard to come by. Your time, most people's time is spent working, earning money to buy stuff. Not necessarily shit, but to buy things, to live, to feed the family, to feed the kids, to buy what you think is nice things. But a lot of these nice things, are they really necessarily, are they needed, you know, versus saving some money? And just doing things. Like, is it not better just to go for a walk, be outside in nature, um, whether you've got to get there in a cheap car versus an expensive car? Like, what's the difference? Because you've got to go to work to pay for that expensive car, haven't you? What I'm saying is, stuff needn't be more complicated than it is. But a lot of things in our lives now are complicated, aren't they? Well, they appear to be, because we're constantly bombarded by marketing bullshit. Like, we must have this and we must have that. We must have and do the same as everybody else is doing. And everybody is pretty much doing that, aren't they, see? So it's kind of doing things versus wanting things. What do you actually really want? A lot of stuff is so simple. We, we only really need um, to be doing simple things to make ourselves feel good. All right? And that's like being outside, moving the body. We all got to move every day, so it's basically, isn't it better to be moving your body easier versus harder? Okay? Isn't it better to be slimmer versus fatter? Okay? Isn't it better to, to be, as I said earlier, to be more healthy versus wealthy? A lot of the stuff is, it's just unnecessary, unnecessary things, isn't it? Like, I can go and buy bike things, but that's to complement what I'm doing, like to fitness, to get out and about, you know? Do people really need big screen TVs and things like that? You know, it's like, again, that's, that's doing versus wanting, isn't it? And being, um, being aware of that, it's habit, you know? And there's a lot of things I'm sure, perhaps, if you were to record my life day by day for a month or something, you'd see perhaps maybe little patterns here and there, but I'm totally aware of certain things I do, like get up in the morning, I won't always have a cup of tea, I'll have some OJ, you know, or some apples or something, I just vary it around and mix it up totally aware of that and totally conscious of that versus just doing things day by day, the exact patterns every day, you know? I know some people have to jump in a car, don't they? And they might head down the motorway or something to their point of work every day and they do the exact same route rather than take numerous different routes, you know, whether it be back roads, just different roads just to get to the final destination. And that's what I think that, that life should be, you know? Taking different routes, doing things differently day by day. And thinking like that as well, rather than being in this, like, um, I don't know, this uh, kind of unconscious unconscious lifestyle, I guess. Again, that's you know, just my opinion. I'm just, uh, just putting that out there, you know. Being aware of what you're actually doing every day. Being aware of what you're eating. Being aware of what you're thinking. Being aware of what's going on around you. Being aware of what's going on above you as well. Because everyone's got their head in their phones, haven't they? One thing I don't do at work, unless I've got, like, say, there's free Wi-Fi or something, I'm not looking at the phone. That's why I spend a lot of time on there, 
the internet or something at night or something, you know, check some Facebook or something in the morning, but I spend the majority of my time on the internet at night because I don't muck around with it in the day. I've got other things more worthwhile I'm doing, you know? But I'm aware of that. I mean, a lot of people just aren't aware of that. We're living in this technological, uh, is that even a word? Technological, technologically sort of adapt society these days that uh, you're not kind of like, I don't know, you're kind of like some cyborg, aren't you? You're turning into kind of like a robotic kind of, I don't want to say zombie, but just it's kind of a, a synthetic way of living, isn't it? Like every day you kind of have these scenes in your life versus actually what's actually going on around you. None of that's really changed, is it? The wind and the rain, the weather, it's all pretty much the same. Um, obviously that's another subject, you could argue, you know, where the rain and the seasons is all to cock and stuff. I'm all like, just actually being outdoors. It's the same as what it always has been. Again, that's so simple, isn't it? Versus like me talking to this now. You know, people who are on the same vibrational level of me or whatever, understand what I'm coming, coming across to say. Uh, so yeah, you like get up each day and think like, what do you actually want versus what you're doing each day? How much of the things that you actually do in your life are really, really important? You need a shave, right? And we all know that shaving takes time. If you add all that time up at the end of the year, it's kind of shocking, isn't it? That how it can, you know, it can really be, you think, oh shit, it's such a waste of time, isn't it? I don't really need to shave that much, okay? I'll shave like maybe once a week, so I don't really grow that, that thick, thicker beard, you know? So pretty much once a week I'll shave. That's my thing, that's kind of how I work, you know? Um, so, you know, a lot of things that people do around the home, like you've got house or whatever, things need to be done. Pieces, um, you need to go, you know, you need to shop and things need to be looked after, kept tidy, you've got to wash this, you've got to wash that, you've got to hoover, vacuum clean, do all this stuff, wash your clothes, whatever. You know, that's inside the house, obviously, that you know, the house needs looking after and maintaining, doesn't it? But it's also important in the day to get some fitness in, to get to take a break, to actually do something, to get outside, whether it's even just to sit outside in the air, to sit and feel the face on your sun, versus every day, bang, 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 doing all this stuff, which is not necessarily bullshit, really, and you know, it's stuff that has to be done, but take time out, think of yourself, think of your health, all right? Just think of actually breaking the mold and going out and buying some plums or something instead of eating a pasty at half past 11. There you go, just some thoughts. Bye.